The feeling that any task is a nuisance will soon disappear if it's done in mindfulness. I used to find that no matter how much self-care I scheduled throughout the week, I would still feel constantly overwhelmed and burnt out. This week, I wanted to share some mindful intentions I credit to my recently improved mental fitness and health. I used to see Sundays as the end of the week, the last moments before I began the five days of waiting for the weekend again, a cycle of looking forward but never being satisfied where I was. With so much that's out of my control, I used to try and control everything and it was exhausting. I've recognized now the only thing I can control is how I react to life as it happens, and how I structure my days. Patience isn't a virtue, it's a practice. So here are some things I do on Sundays that I feel help me reset for the week. So, there are three pillars I rely on. The first is mindfulness. I aim to create a blank slate for my week. And this usually involves some combination of cleaning, journaling, and meditating. I try to give everything within my home its own little space, and I found that I don't lose things as often now. Because I'm allergic to dust, I'm invested in vacuuming and mopping as I go throughout the week, but Sundays I do an extra deep clean. I use journaling to set my intentions for the week. So I bullet journal, set my goals, plan my days, and like to just refresh what I've committed to in the upcoming week. I'm intentional with most other days, making a huge list for everything I want to get done, but I think it's important to also set time aside to just be slow and to take two hours to make your bed because you get lost in daydreams or a really good audiobook to lie in a snowbank and look at the sky with no agenda. The last mindful tip I have for you is meditation. I've been really enjoying it recently either through a headspace course, YouTube, listening to an album, I pick whichever speaks to me. On Sundays, I have yoga class, which includes some guided meditations, so I usually just do that, which actually brings me to my second pillar, movement. I do hit workouts on rotation six days a week, but I set aside Sundays to really stretch and listen to what's aching so I don't injure myself throughout the week. I join in an hour-long Zoom yoga class. There are so many good free courses on YouTube you could try for any possible ache you might have. I forgot how important rest and recovery days are, but I honestly find it luxurious to simply follow my breath and go with the flow for an hour. Yoga is like a fun game to see which part of myself I can hug tighter each week. My final pillar is meal prep. Most diets are based around calorie deficiency or ignoring cravings, but I find I'm happiest when I lean into my boss intuition or follow intuitive eating practices. I try and eat a lot of whole foods like kale, spinach, whole grains, soy, etc. But I don't stop myself from snacking on popcorn or making cookies when I want them. I used to swear I would never be a salad person, but I feel 
so much stronger and cleaner after eating greens. I honestly crave them more than junk food now. So that's how I've been embracing Sundays as the beginning of my week now. My routine is not perfect. Sometimes something comes up and I end up doing a bunch of these things on a weekday instead, but I'll keep doing it this way as long as I feel like it's serving me. And these days, instead of striving for perfection, I'm trying to give myself permission to embrace what life is. A work in progress. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you back here next week. Stay safe. Gonna stay in this moment Gonna live